What's up? So I thought I'd do a little uh, tutorial here on um, how to start a really, really old, old car that has very minimal things. Uh, we're talking like points and condenser, uh, carburetor. But let's say you haven't had a car run in a very long time and you just want to bypass all of the ancient relays and electrical stuff. Uh, I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how to do that with just four wires. Actually, um, not even. Uh, you're going to use one of these guys, remote starter. You get these at any auto zone or whatever for like 15 bucks. And what that does is that clips to the solenoid posts on your battery. So I'm going to show you that if I can. This is a little tight over here. This is a 1975 BMW uh, Model 2002. All right, down there is the starter, so it's going to be hard to see, but you want to clip it to the main battery post. So from your battery comes a wire down here, and you're going to see it's the heaviest wire that goes down on your starter. Probably can't see it too well, but that's where you're going to clip one of the leads. Doesn't matter which one. And the other one's going to go to uh, the positive post on the solenoid. So um, depending on what kind of solenoid you have. All right. So remember, this is not a tutorial now on how to hotwire a car. I'm not doing that. Uh, but I am going to show you how simple it is. As long as you know that you can verify that your, your ignition coil is fine, you could check it with an ohms uh, meter. And then you're going to verify that your condenser, that little silver guy on the side, is good and that your points internally in the distributor are good as well. Okay, so once you can verify all that, give yourself a fuel source. I'm sure the barnyard car that you just found is probably, you know, sitting on the most ancient of fuel, all right? You want to avoid all that. This has a mechanical fuel pump. So all I'm doing right here is I'm just running like fuel out of a bottle and uh, that's going down to here. I'm bypassing the fuel tank altogether because I still have to drain the fuel out of this thing. All right, battery's good. Um, you can double check your, uh, your gap on your points. Um, I'm not gonna tell you how to do that. It's really, really easy. You just take a, a feeler gauge and you just find out whatever your car needs as far as gap. And that's pretty much it. I mean, from here on out, we're just gonna start this whole thing. All right, and uh, fingers crossed, everything's running. So, oh wait, didn't even go over this important part. All right, so what you need for your coil, and this is a big one, all right, positive goes to this terminal right here. So it says 15 on it, all right? And we're bypassing all the ignition crap. You see, I took all the wires off. I don't wanna, I don't wanna let, juice up anything in this car. All right, from the one terminal, we're gonna run that all the way over to the condenser, all right? See where I clipped that? I'm just using test leads. Um, just make sure that they don't get into your fan. All right, and um, moment of truth, watch this. Uh, she should light up. She's got gas, not that much, but a little bit. And uh, let's give her a go. Hey, look at that. This car has not run in about uh, 20 years. So. There you have it guys. Remember, once again, not a tutorial on how to hotwire a car. All right, now uh, I'm gonna show you how to turn her off. Um, that's it, you disconnect your positive lead, coil has no more juice, and uh, you're good to go. Uh, I hope that helps some of y'all out. Um, you know, I never get to do this, so uh, showing that. Also later on, I mean, uh, these are really ancient tools, engine analyzers where you can set your dwell um, I mean, when you're fine tuning the motor later on, that's cool. But uh, just to get her going, uh, this is by no means a way to drive down the road. A little sketchy, and it might not be that reliable, but you got it. All right. I uh, hope that helps some of you. And uh, that's it. Uh, I'll try to post more videos soon, but I uh, haven't really had much of an opportunity. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.